Hey guys, some of you have requested me if I can create a video on how to extract the content of a document and I can fully lay it with you as a tester. So as a tester, you've got to download certain documents. Well, your job isn't done there. You also have to check whether you have downloaded the correct document or not. And how can you do that? Well, you can check the meta property of the document and the content of the document. Now meta properties could be who created this document, when this document was created, how many number of pages are there in this document and so on. Right? But document is a very broad term. Like if I say I have already covered this for text file in Excel, those are also documents, right? So in this series we have already covered text files and Excel. Now we also have PDF documents, PPTX documents, Doc X documents and also document documents. These are some of the most used documents. Now, in this video, we are going to concentrate on PDF. But for PDF, also, guys, you know, there are two types of PDF. Number one, image only PDF. Okay. And number two, the text PDF. So I'll show you. So this is a simple PDF file, and you could see I can select a word, I can select the paragraph like so. If you can do so, it is a text type PDF, but look at this. I can't select a single word and the selection is different because this is a image type PDF. Now, what are these image type PDFs? Imagine you have a physical document, okay? And you scan the document and generate the PDF out of it. Okay. Now, in this video, we are going to work on this type of PDF. Okay. And I have created this GitHub repository where I'm going to push the changes. Okay. So I've already pushed the changes for PDF. Now we have to use a node module. So open your web browser and Google search. Then you just have to type npm PDF pass. Now this is what you have to open. This is the module. And guys, this is only going to extract the text. Okay. Now there might be cases you'll say, hey, we have images in our document. If it's case of image, guys, for image only PDF, we have to use the OCR technique. And for that technique, you have to set a few things onto your computer. Okay. Then there's another module which we are going to use in an upcoming video. And then I'll show you how to extract the text from such PDF documents. Okay. But for now, this video solely focusing on text type PDFs. Okay. So then first step that we have to do is we have to add this module as a dependency to a project. And the command for that is npm i pdf hyphen pass. So open your project, open the terminal and execute this command. I have already done that. Now how to use this? So in here you would find the basic usage. But don't worry, I'll show you practically. So now we need to bring in two modules. Number one, the FS module, which is the native Node.js system module. And I already created a video on that in the series itself. So we say const FS is equal to require FS. Okay. Next one is we have to say const and let's use the name PDF parcel and we say require and the name of the module is PDF pass like so. All right. Next step. We have to read the file. Okay. Sample hyphen text.pdf is the name of the file that we want to read. So we know how to read that. We say fs dot read file sync. Okay. And we have to provide in, as you could see from the hint, the path. Okay. So the path would be since this PDF text.js and sample text.pdf, they are at the same level. So I just need to provide the name. So I say sample hyphen text dot PDF. All right. Now what this is going to return me, it is going to return me the buffer object. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to say const PDF file is equal to this. Okay. All right. So I have that buffer object stored in here. Now the next thing that we have to use is we have to say PDF parser. And guys, let's look at this now. So it is expecting a data buffer which is 
of type buffer all right so we already have that and then the option so let's use this pdf file first and the second argument is an object and this object contains three properties let us look at those max page render and version now we are going to use max in testing okay and we can safely ignore the remaining two now what is this max guys so let's understand so let's say there is a pdf which has got 10 pages okay and you want to read the first three so you're going to say max is equal to three and you say max is equal to five so you're going to read the first five pages when you say max is equal to seven so you're going to say you're going to read first seven pages and if you don't provide this is an optional property as you could see there's a question mark okay so if you don't provide this then you are going to read the whole content of that pdf document all right so let's start with saying i just want to read one because in my sample hyphen text there are two pages all right now this is going to return us what a promise all right so we know how to deal with promise so we have this then block and we have this catch okay so in then we, and catch we have to provide one callback so in then we say data this is the argument to that callback and in catch we say error like so okay so now in here we just say console log and we say data dot and now guys you see we see information metadata number of pages and text okay so we are going to work with info number of pages and text so let's start with info and in here all we have to do is console log and we just log out error dot message okay like so all right so let me just save this now what what this info is going to return us let us open this so this is my pdf okay there are two pages like i mentioned you have to click on file and you have to click on properties okay now in here you see we have application so just remember this rave and then there is this http url then we have this producer all right then we have this pdf version okay and we also have this created on date okay and you also have number of pages in here all right that's fine let me save this to run this we have to say node and what is the name of the file pdf right let's execute this all right guys so you see pdf version is there the creator this url thing is there the producer is there and the creation date is also here all right so let us comment this out now let us do data dot number of pages this is again one more property we save it we should see two now all right so we are seeing two great now what about the data so i just say console log data dot text is the property guys so let me save it and run it so we should see the text from page one okay this is the text on page one now if you want to see the whole content just have to get rid of this okay and save it run this again and now you see the content from page two as well make sense all right so i talked about another pdf which is image only pdf right so we can use this library to fetch the property level information so you can fetch the number of pages you can fetch the info but you cannot extract the text of it okay so why not we just comment these out and check that all right so i have just taken the copy of it and now i change the name of the file which is scanned and text all right guys so this thing would work info would be fine we also would receive the number of pages but text would not be available so let me run this all right you see so we have one page in there and this is the information but no text all right guys so this is what i was telling okay now this one is good but they are two files and i had to write the code twice that's not how we work into programming we create a function right which is dynamic in nature so there are two things which are changing in here number one name of the file and number two the maximum number of pages isn't it 
So why not we create a function and control these two things? All right? Great. Let's start there. So let's decide on the name of the function first. So let's call it get PDF text. Okay. So we say const get PDF text. Okay. And then we provide in those arguments. Number one, PDF file. And number two, max pages. Fair enough. Now, since this is a function, so we are going to use best practices. So we are working with files. So we are going to use try and catch blocks. All right. So in the try, the first thing that I'm going to check is that this file exists, isn't it? And we know how to do that. So we say if fs dot exists sync, and then we provide in this PDF file. All right, like so. If this exists. Then only I want to read that and when I'm going to read that I'll create a buffer object so I need to store that so let's create a variable PDF buffer and initialize it to null to start with and then use this PDF buffer to store the output of fs dot read file sync okay and then we provide in here PDF file like so. Okay, so we have read the file now. User may provide max pages or may not. So we want to make this argument optional. Okay, so we got to handle it. What if the user does not provide it? We have to handle it. How can we handle this? So we say if max pages, and if that is the case, okay. We are going to say PDF parser, okay, and we have to provide in the buffer, guys. So let's provide in the buffer first. So we have PDF buffer, and the second argument is the object, and we say max, okay, is equal to max pages, like so. And this returns us a promise. All right, so let's handle the promise by adding a weight in front of it, okay. And since we are using await in here, we have to make this function async. So if you don't understand this async and await, guys, I have created a video in my JavaScript playlist on async programming in JavaScript. All right. Now let us store that in a variable. Okay. So we create one more variable outside this try block and we say past PDF. And let's set it to empty to start with. All right, we come down now and we use this pass PDF and we say pass PDF is equal to await, like so. All right, now what if user does not provide max pages? Now let me just copy this stuff from here down, paste it, and get rid of this second argument. All right, good enough now. We still have to use one more if and we say if past PDF, okay, if there is something into this, then only we are going to invoke the text method and this way we are handling the null. So this is a null check step, okay, because there might be situation when past PDF is null. So text method would not be invoked on the null object. So we just say now return pass PDF dot text. Okay, so we're good enough. Now in the catch, guys, we have to return error dot message. All right, so our function is ready. So we created our function. Good. Now how to use this? It's an async function. Okay, so you have to say PDF text. Now you have to provide in the file. And the file would be, let's say, sample hyphen text dot PDF. All right. So we have the file, right? You can pass in the second parameter if you just want to read the first. Let's let's do that. All right. Now, how do we work with async? We say then. 
all right and this is going to return me what the content okay i'm calling it a text so then in here i just say console log and i print it like this okay fine then the next one is in case of error i'll get the error message so i just say error message and i just print that as well i just say error message like so all right so we are good to execute this program now so we can now run this execute this all right so we see the first page all right so the second argument is working and if i decide not to pass all right let us run this okay so now i see the complete content all right guys so in future videos we'll work on different type of documents so i hope you like that thank you so much